This video is to cover two requests from my subscribers. One from Rowan and Bob Pinner. Now, Rowan wants to know how to remove uh, an image in, from a background with black and white in it. It's very similar to uh, all our other ones of removing background with, with a lot of detail. But a lot of them had a background that was easy to remove where this one has a background with other types of colours. So what we do first, we go to right click the top layer and we add an alpha channel. We duplicate that image. Now I go to my magnifying glass and just click in the corner and drag it down to the other corner. And that'll bring it up to the right size of the image on the screen. Now I go to colours and I desaturate turns it to black and white. Return to colours and brightness and contrast. Now I move this one up to about oh, too far, about 84, 83 and this one about the same. There we go. Now I return to colours and I invert that selection. Now I go over to my uh, opacity on the layers channel and lower it down so I can see the image below. In this case I choose my magic scissors and make a cut around all of the image. Now the magic scissors helps to grab the, the, uh, the colours that you're working on. So we go around here and it's still retaining the hair for fine detail because it's all in the side here. So we just imagine, you can see how the magic scissors actually grabs around the area that you want. So if it misbehaves, you can just go in and change the node and go over to the other edge and you'll find that as you go around, it'll grab all the edges of the color. It's fairly, fairly intelligent, but sometimes it can get fooled, especially if there's other colors in the image. If we come down here, and there's a little bump in the belt. We go around there. And then we come right down here because it will follow the contrast, uh, that borderline. See how it pulls itself over? Now I'll pause the video as I go through the others. Now press enter to make the selection. Go to select and feather the selection. Now it's, it defaults at five. Well, I'll move it up to 10 by using the tumblers. Okay, now I switch this over to white and just drag it in and drop it into that selected area. Now I go to select and invert my selection. Swing this back to black and drag it into the other area there. Now I turn my opacity back to 100. Go to select and select none. Go to edit and copy. Move that below the image we're working on. Turn the eye off. Go to the top layer. Go to layers and layer mask. Add a layer mask. White full opacity add. Go to edit and paste it back in. Now it creates a floating selection. We use the anchor to put it on the background. And there you have it, it's finally taken it out. Now the reason you use the, the layer mask, if there's any errors in the image, you can fix it with the white brush because everything white becomes um, visible and the black becomes transparent. So you can go to your brush and I think there's a section just there. You can see that now we choose a, a fuzzy brush. We've got white and then we go to the brush and just paint over that no sorry transparency that's black now it will erase that because it's transparency if you make an error you just go back to white now we can dump that one in the waste bin and that's your tutorial you can uh, just merge it or uh, add the layer mask and the job's done then you can return to the size it was before about 25 percent 
Now there's another part that was missed before, but that can be fixed up with a white paint before I added the mask. So I hope that's answered your question on a black and white uh, garment, like white pants and black in the other parts of the image. Now over to my other request from my prescriber. This is the other request from Bob Pinner. He asked how to, re how to uh, get the spokes on a motorcycle. Now right click on the top layer, add an alpha channel. That makes it a transparency. Duplicate your image by that little button there. We go to colours and we desaturate. That turns it black and white. Click OK. Return to colours and invert our selection. We go to colours once again and now we go to threshold. That's pretty good. We just leave it at that settings. We can fiddle with the sliders if you like. Click OK. We go to edit, copy, place the, the black and white image underneath, turn the eye off, click on the layer at the top and scroll down and just add layer mask. White full opacity, add, return to edit and click on paste. Now it gives you a floating uh, pasted layer hit the little anchor there and it puts it on the background of the layer mask. Now we change our colour to, to white on the uh, little over here on our selection. Choose the brush, choose a fuzzy brush and paint over anything that was missed like that there. Now that will reveal what's underneath. Now we just paint on over the headlamp, over the Venturi on the uh, Carburetor, a little bit on the guard, and then the handlebars at the top. You've got a uh, handle. Now, this is very similar to all the others, that uh, this one was quite easy because it had a plain background. Now, to show how it appears, uh, we go and uh, add a new layer, and we go to our blend tool and choose a gradient that, that could suit the background on this just to show up what how this works click on the golden one just drag it straight across now go down to the down arrow and pull it down underneath now you can see what you may have missed like on the fuel tank we go to the top layer just uh, we've got our paintbrush and everything's ready to go we just paint over the top of that and reveal what was underneath if you make an error, you just turn back to black. So I hope that's answered your question, Bob, and uh, thanks for uh, subscribing. We can dump the, uh, the cutout. We just merge that one down, and we dump the black and white, and that's your image complete.